Tonight, we know more about what's next for a West Little Rock shopping center. Local restaurants will be front and center of the new Breckenridge Village. THV 11's Ian Russell spent the day talking with some of those new tenants and brings us more. There's a lot of history in these walls. So we've been a comedy club in this location since they built this building. And General Manager Wayne Iberg Jr. has seen neighboring businesses come and go, but there's new developments coming to Breckenridge Village, and it's got him excited for the future. The community that we have here in Breckenridge Village uh, uh, is just all excitement all around for all of us small businesses that have been here struggling for years. You might remember these renderings of what the new owners want to do. You can see the Waldo's Chicken and Beer already there, but there's some local restaurants now joining in. I can say that, uh, that from what I know of that development, it's going to be one of the biggest events uh, for the Little Rock food scene in recent years. The Root Cafe owner Jack Sundell says they're opening a second spot at the village and they're not alone. DeLuca's Pizzeria of Hot Springs says everything looks good for them to sign on as well. It's great for your business. It's great for your community. Uh, it's going to be great for our staff. Then it's a win win. And I explained to some of my friends, this is the biggest recycling project I've ever undertaken. Hank Kelly is the CEO of Kelly Commercial Partners, the project manager for the New Look Village. He's also been an investor for years and wants to see the center thrive. Part of that comes from blending the new and the old. There's no one that we're going to right now saying, you, you have to leave because that's not the way we do business. Kelly says as of right now, they're planning on all current businesses being in the New Look Center and they're planning on adding more. He says Mount Fuji is changing locations within the center and Flyway Brewing is being added in their location. And so it's a really good sign to see entrepreneurs and business owners in that area of the economy taking taking risks like this and trying something new. Dr. Jeremy Horpdahl is an economist at UCA and says this is a great sign for business in the area. Back at the root, Sundell says he couldn't agree more. There's nothing about this that makes me nervous, and I think that's why I know that it's a, uh, the right thing for us to do as a business. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Ian, thank you. And the developer told us that they plan to start working on the village in the first quarter of 2023.